That's it. So we learned the simplest topological invariant of zero-dimensional systems, the number of negative energy states. The mathematical expression for it is the matrix, sign this, the matrix signature of the Hamiltonian, or if I wanted to use an even fancier name, I could call it zeroth churn number. In presence of a conservation law, the Hamiltonian becomes block diagonal, so that one can just study topology of its different blocks separately, thereby simplifying the problem. We learned that the, class that the classification of systems by the number of filled states is the same if the time reversal symmetry is broken, but the number of filled states becomes even if the system has spinful time reversal symmetry. In presence of sublattice symmetry, the number of levels uh, becomes constant since half of the levels go below zero energy and half go above. So that transitions between different numbers of states never appear. Finally, particle hole symmetry also makes the signature or the number of levels constant, like sublattice symmetry, but it generates a completely different kind of topological invariant. Uh, which equals to the sign of Fafian of the Hamiltonians. Since it's a sign, it can only assume two values, plus and minus one. The physical meaning of this last invariant is the parity of the electron number in the ground state. Like this, the symmetry defines the type or even the presence of topological invariant. This will stay correct throughout the complete course. And it's one of the important principles to remember. Things get particularly tricky in presence of a conservation law when the full Hamiltonian may have a different symmetry from one of its blocks, so that studying the topology of the full Hamiltonian and forgetting about the block structure will lead to wrong results. Keep that in mind.